Hello Mini Makers, welcome back to Art with Miss K, where every week we dive into a new art topic and create our own masterpieces. Last week we were able to learn a little bit about Van Gogh's life and his artwork, so be sure to go and check that video out. I'm doing things a little different today and diving right into it. We'll be going over lighting and shading and we'll be using a sweet and iconic subject, candy corn. It's going to be a colorful and delightful journey, so grab your art supplies and let's just get started. All right, so here are the supplies you'll need for today. If you're wanting to join in but don't quite have the right or all of the supplies, no worries. I set up an Amazon list where you can find the supplies you might need located in the description below. So go check that out. For today, you'll need a canvas or heavy paper, pencil and an eraser, acrylic paints, a paint palette, water, paint brushes, and some paper towels or an old towel. First, let's draw our candy corn. Begin with a light pencil outline. I will be using this picture as a reference image, or you can grab the sweet tree and snack on I mean, you can look at it while you draw it out, obviously. Pay close attention to its shape, especially the gentle curves when looking at an object. I really like to look at the shapes the object has. In this case, these candy corns have a lot of those gentle curves as well as those straight lines. So really look at those outlines. I personally like to start with the outlines and then add in those little details later. If you didn't catch it at the beginning already, we'll need white, orange, yellow, and a smidge of black paints today. Now before we dig into this color, know that lighting and shading are essential concepts in art. They help us make objects appear three-dimensional and realistic. Light affects how we perceive shapes and understanding this can really elevate your artwork to a whole new level. Now let's apply a layer of that yellow to the top section of your candy corn. I like to start my base layers with the paint straight from the tube and start layering and adding different shades and tints to those bases. Every artist has a different process, so if you want to start with a different color or lighter tints, please feel free to use your own process if you'd like. Move on to the orange. Now here you can see I'm starting to mix a smidge of that white in with the orange to create a light tint of the orange to apply to the base layer. Really look at the shading of your candy corn and see where that light is hitting it. And again, I'm mixing up another lighter tint of orange to apply on top of that orange. And really you're going to use that process until you achieve that desired look. It may take some time and a lot of practice, but this is what we're here for. And adding layer after layer is really easy to achieve with acrylic paints, which is why I really love acrylics. Remember, lighting and shading are all about understanding how light interacts with different areas. So when you're looking at the colors of your candy corn, really look and see the shades of the oranges and the yellows and what color the light is making it give off. For the white at the bottom, I left a little bit, and I mean a teeny bit of that orange on my brush and mixed it in with some white to get that white color that I have. My reference I used doesn't look completely white, so I wanted to give it a little extra color.
Now you're going to be doing the same thing with the yellow. Mix that base yellow paint with the white. Only a little bit of white will do the trick. Slowly add in white to your color as you go about adding lighter and lighter tints or layers of tints in this case. Now that you have all these colors mixed up, really get into it and look at the lighting on the candy corn. Look at the shapes of the lighting on the candy corn and try to mimic those shapes with the different tints of orange and yellow. Again, I really like to break things down by shape when I paint or draw. Don't get frustrated or upset with your art if it's not turning out exactly how you like. This is really a long process and there is a learning curve. I could have personally spent another two hours on this but really didn't have the time. To make your candy corn look even more realistic, blend the colors where they meet, soften the edges, really work on blending and finding balance. Now feel free to add a little extra depth by enhancing the shadows and highlights where needed. Take your time to make it just right. By understanding lighting and shading, you can bring your artwork to life and create stunning realistic pieces. Try this project again and really experiment with different lighting angles and see how it changes the shadows and highlights of the candy corns. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun exploring lighting and shading with our delicious candy corn. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep creating. And there you have it, artists, a beautifully shaded candy corn. 
By understanding lighting and shading, you can bring your artwork to life and create stunning, realistic pieces. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like this video, comment what other art projects or artists you'd love to learn about, and subscribe to Art with Miss K. And share your creations with me on social media or shoot me an email with a picture of your art at info at minimakersart.com. This will also give you a chance to be featured on my website. That link is also in the description. Until next time, keep creating, stay inspired, and remember, the world needs your creativity. Thanks, guys.